God bless you. This is Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts. The thought that the Lord just laid on my heart right now is the issue of cutting some family, family members loose. Cut them loose. Sounds cold-blooded. Especially some of those who have been depending on you to help them in their hour of need. Well, if you look back a few years or a few decades, their hour of need is up. They may have been in need for a very, very, very long time. And God may be saying right now, it's time out for that hour of need. Let me handle them. Let me take it from here. Now, I'm going to share something about a lady I knew years ago. It was very, very sad. She used to complain every time she got a little, a little ahead financially. Every time she thought she could start making plans for a vacation, a long-awaited vacation. And this woman was in almost in her 80s. She would end up with a family member that that, that ran a bill up or, or had found themselves in a financial bind. Just kind of happened to find themselves there. Yeah. And this woman would complain and she would be so disheartened because here she really, really, really was going to make plans to have a wonderful vacation, maybe a cruise or something that she just wanted so badly. But she had to go pay their bill. And the first thing I asked her was, why do you have to pay their bill? Is your name on the credit? Well, no. Then why do you have to pay their bill? You know, sometimes we as loving parents, grandparents, or relatives of whatever kind, take on way more than what God has intended. And it's not God cheating you. It's not the relative or friend cheating you. It's you. Sometimes you have to say no. Read my lips. No. No more. The buck stops. And it stops here. My dear. So it may seem cold, but you know, every single time you come to these people's rescue, what you end up doing is enabling what some people, how can I say this? Uh, I'm trying to say it diplomatically because it's going to sound like a real insult. There are givers and there are takers in life. And there are some that take so much, they literally suck the life out of you while you're giving. And you end up with that octopus syndrome. They suck and suck and suck. And they suck so much that they leave marks all over your life. But everything that you plan to do with your life never gets done. Because that person is right there like a leech, sucking your life away. Well, you know what you have to do with some of those leeches? You have to, let's make believe this is a leech. You have to take that leech and you have to pull it off, yank it off sometimes, and toss it. You got to get rid of the leeches in your life. You will never, never enjoy your life. You will never have the freedom of an abundant life of joy and, and laughter and pleasure if you're always running to everybody's rescue. Well, they know they can count on you because you want to be loved. You want to be the good one. You want to be seen as the saintly one, the kind-hearted one. Guess what, baby? All they see is a sucker. So please take Jesus' advice. Stop throwing your pearls before swine. Stop giving that which is holy unto the dogs. 
boy, I know that sounds cold, especially about someone you love. But baby, some of the people you love will never grow up as long as you keep coming to their rescue. Let God handle them. He's not going to kill them. He's not going to let them curl up and die. Listen, one woman told me that her son thanked her, thanked her. Because when he was in his 20s, she got to the point where she said, you know what, buddy, you got to go. I don't know where you're going. Don't tell me whether you got a place or not, but you got to go. Friday, I want all your stuff and you out of here. And if you've made plans to find a place, because I've given you six months and you haven't done so yet, you got to go. It's time. That man went out onto the streets, baby. And he had to call friend after friend to find a place to lay his head. But you know what he told her? He said, Mama, I would never have become a man if you had let me stay here. I could see it. And that man became independent and never had to go to his mother for help. In, in, in contrast, he was able to help her. Whether she asked for it or not, which I don't think she even asked. But he willingly, voluntarily brought help to her because he was that well, so he was self-sustained to that point where he could help her. Turn around and help her. But he told her, Mama, I would have been good for nothing if you had let me lay up on you. Thank you for putting me out. It made a man out of me. And he was not saying it with anger, bitterness, or sarcasm. He meant every single word. He's a man, a man of God, a husband, and a father. A family man. And he takes very good care of his family because he's a man. Do you hear what I'm saying? And Mama Sita can enjoy her life. She's not running to somebody's rescue. So she's free to take trips, travel, do things she wants to do with her money. Hello. God bless you.